Where are my pescatarian ladies at? Hi guys, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome first of all. My channel is right now highlighting my life journey. So my faith journey, my health and fitness journey, just like adulting in general. So if you are interested in any of those things, go hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stick around. If you're returning, hey besties, how are we? It's so glad to be putting out another video for you guys. As you can already tell by today's title, we're getting into a pescatarian meal prep because my pescatarian queens were highly requesting this video. So today I'm making three recipes. One has absolutely nothing to do with pescatarians. And just because this is pescatarian, friendly doesn't mean that my meat lovers or vegetarians can't substitute their proteins and put their own spin on it. Listen, my way is just my way. You guys can do whatever you want. The goal of my meal prep videos is just to give you inspiration. The way I do things is not always the right way. It's not always going to fit everybody else, but I'm just here to give you some inspiration. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be having smoothie bowls that has fresh fruit, frozen fruit, and granola and all those toppings. For lunch, I'll be preparing a Mediterranean salmon bowl. Listen, it was supposed to be kind of like a warm grain bowl, but because I'm having rice, with my dinner I didn't want to do another grain for lunch so I decided to just make it a salad but you can totally add a grain if you'd like everything will be linked down below in the description box I found these recipes on Pinterest so if you don't feel like scrolling through Pinterest this girl right here will do it because I've been experimenting with a ton of Pinterest recipes and for dinner I'll be having a shrimp taco bowl you guys know I have this like theme about tacos I love it I love Mexican food so for dinner I'll be preparing a taco bowl with shrimp and veggies and rice and all this good stuff and I even made my own sauce to go on it so um kudos to me for that because I would never I really would have just went to the grocery store and bought something but I was trying to be a little bit more adventurous for you guys so here we have it now that that is all out of the way let's go ahead and jump into this meal prep okay so to prepare for my breakfast I'm gonna start by chopping three bananas and the reason for this is because I'm gonna be making smoothie packs so I'm going to peel and chop three bananas and then I'm going to measure out 75 grams for each bag 140 grams of frozen mixed berries and then I'm going to assemble the bags and place them in the freezer they store really really well in the freezer and you can keep them for longer than seven days which is nice if you're person that likes smoothies or smoothie bowls a great way to prep for them is to just pre proportion out everything so you can just throw them in the blender I'm also going to show you how I plan to assemble each each bowl each day for breakfast. It's so quick and easy. Just throw everything in the blender, add your favorite toppings and enjoy.
lunch and I am making my own marinade. Listen, I am so proud of myself because I made a marinade for my salmon and for the shrimp I'm gonna make later on. Plus I made the sauce to one of my meals and baby. I don't know who I think I am, but I love it here. Um, So right now I'm just preparing the marinade for my salmon. I'm just chopping some dill, juicing a lemon, adding some oil and some spices, shaking it all up. Let me tell you something. My mason jars got one heck of a workout because I was putting everything in there. They're just so easy and convenient and they store sauce really well too. So I will link these down below in the description box also if you're interested to know where I got them from. I totally lied. I forgot I made my own salad dressing here too. Girl, who do I think I am? Is this adulting? Is this what adulting is? Like making your own salad dressings? Oh, oh my God, I love it here. I am making this Mediterranean inspired salad dressing. I use some tahini. No, oh my God. I used some tahini, I juice of a whole lemon and added some honey for sweetness. Of course, I had to add my own spices. Like I said, I will link this Pinterest recipe down below in the description box, but I also posted my specific recipe on the screen because you know, I had to doctor it up a little bit with my seasonings. You know we season with love over here, my girl. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put all my ingredients in this mason jar. I'm gonna shake it up and blend it really well. Honestly, it's been sitting in the fridge for a few days because I meal prepped a few days ago and it tastes so good. Every day it sits in the fridge, I feel like it tastes better and better. So. Definitely check out this recipe. Now it's time to assemble. I am still counting my calories and macros, so I did weigh this off camera each time. The beauty of editing, you don't even get to see all that. But I am assembling my salads. One thing that you won't see me add to each salad here is cucumbers, and because we talked about this before, cucumbers are hit or miss for me. I don't wanna take the chance that the cucumbers go bad three days in the fridge, and then I have to throw the entire salad away. So I will just chop and add the cucumbers as I go throughout the week. That way the cucumber stays fresh, and the salad doesn't become slimy and gross, and then I have to throw it away.
again with the marinade. So here I am preparing the marinade to marinate my shrimp in. It's basically just some lime, some olive oil, a bunch of spices. My recipe differs a little bit from the Pinterest recipe down below. So if you're interested in my recipe, it is here on the screen for you. It's honestly so quick and easy. Let me tell you something, girl, if you don't have any mason jars, get you some because it made this meal prep 10 times easier. Now for the absolute worst part of this meal prep, it was peeling and deveining the shrimp. So here I am just peeling off the shrimp. I hold the tip of the shrimp or the tail of the shrimp and just slightly tug that way I keep the whole entire shrimp intact. Then as you can see on the back here, there's no vein in the back, but there is a little disgusting vein in the center. So I take a little paring knife and I run it along the center and then I pull out this little vein and it totally looks gross. I get it, but it's even more gross to eat it, I feel like. So I'm just pulling that out and then I'm gonna soak my shrimp in some cold water until they're done and then I'm gonna place them on the plate and get ready for the marinade. Okay, and now it is time to sear my shrimp. Honestly, this part right here, I don't know what was going on. I think I spilled grease or something on the stove and now my pan is just sliding all over the place. Like, girl, just let me be great on camera. Like, I feel like every blooper happens as soon as I pull out my camera. Like, girl, stop acting up in front of company, okay? We're trying to look like we got it together. Here I am just cooking the shrimp, two to three minutes on both sides, and then I'm going to reduce the sauce just a little bit. So I left that on the stove just a little bit longer. And honestly, the shrimp turned out so good. Now it's time to prepare my rice. I only made really one cup of dry rice. It made for four servings, which is good because I actually have another rice alternative that I'm gonna share with you once I show you how I plan to prepare or assemble the bowls for the rest of the week. But if you don't wash your rice, I mean, girl, do you. Sometimes I wash it, sometimes I don't. But for the sake of this, I'm washing it. I put it in a pot with some water, let the water come to a boil, and then put the lid on it, turn it down, and wait until it was finished, and went about my business. Now that my rice is done, I'm just going to fluff it with a fork and lightly season it. The only thing I had in the water was just some salt. I wanted to keep it very simple, so I'm adding just a little bit of lime juice, some crushed red pepper flakes, and fluffed it with the fork until it was nice and fluffy. And now to make the spicy sauce to go on top of my shrimp taco bowls. This one right here took a little bit of preparation. I soaked half a cup of cashews in some warm water for 24 hours. The recipe on Pinterest said eight to 10 hours or overnight, but I let this sit for 24 hours because you might as well just go all in if you're going to make your sauce yourself. And so here I am just assembling all of the ingredients for the sauce. I have the sauce and cashews, water, olive oil, a bunch of spices, blending it all up and it turned out so good. It needed a little bit more salt, so I added more salt off camera but definitely give this a try.
Now it's time to portion out my meals. Like I said, I'm still weighing and counting my calories, so I was doing all of that off camera, but just to make it more aesthetic, I did all the editing, and now it looks beautiful, like it took three seconds. But here I am just adding my rice, my shrimp, and then also the red peppers, and it looks kind of bare, but don't worry, because I'm gonna add a bunch of other things when I assemble it for the week. I just didn't wanna put all of the stuff that should stay cold in there, so when I go to heat it up during the week, it gets all soggy. I did put the red peppers in here, but I don't mind if they get a little bit warm, because sometimes they can be a little too hard for me. Once all the meals got to room temperature, I just placed them in the bottom shelf of my refrigerator. There's no preference as to why I put them in the bottom other than that there's the most room down there and I can stack them high up. Okay, so let me put you on to this skinny pasta rice, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's basically, I feel like shirataki noodles chopped up into rice size. That's the vibe it was giving. Also the fact that it came in a bag, it just was giving shirataki noodles. But this is the rice substitute. There's nine calories per bag. There's two servings in a bag, so four and a half calories per serving. All I am doing here is just rinsing it and draining it. I popped it in the microwave for two minutes, like it said in the directions. And then I'm going to season it with the same seasonings that I added to my regular rice. So now I'm going to assemble my shrimp taco bowl. I'm putting it over a bed of lettuce, adding my rice or rice substitute as you see here, adding my shrimp, some red bell peppers, some avocados and jalapenos, and drizzling it with that delicious sauce that I made. I really just can't believe that I made my own sauce and I bought cashews for the first time like in my adult life and soaked them overnight. Like honestly, I feel like I should just be on the Food Network at this point because baby, I have never had to soak cashews or anything for that matter. But I don't know, I just feel like I outdid myself with this one. Okay, let me just stop. I'm just kidding. I, I'm just really proud of myself because I am like the store-bought salad dressing queen, okay? pescatarian meal prep you guys can change around all of the protein so just because i used shrimp in the last one you can use any other form of seafood same thing for the mediterranean salad if you wanted to swap the two proteins you're totally welcome to do that my meat eaters you're totally welcome to either eat a pescatarian or swap in some chicken or even like deli meat be like shaved turkey breast might not be that bad i don't know but the whole point of these videos is to give you a little bit of inspiration and just give you a little bit of creativity behind your meals that way you're more likely to stick to your meal plan i did just want to address one thing i know i mentioned it already in the video but but I got a lot of people who ask me how my meals hold up in the refrigerator for five days. I've had no problems thus far. I don't know if it's like the setting of my refrigerator or the Tupperware containers that I use, but none of my meals go bad. Remember, I told you, I always try to make meals that I know that all of the components are gonna hold really well in the fridge. For instance, the Mediterranean bowl that I made, I didn't put any cucumbers in it because I know that cucumbers tend to go bad after like three or four days. So I will just chop those up the day that I'm going to have that meal and I'll just add it in there that day. That way I don't have to worry about throwing the bowl away because now the whole thing is contaminated and slimy. So I really haven't had any issues. All I do is just wait for everything to get to room temperature and then I throw it in the fridge and I just leave it there. That's it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share as well as turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, I'll see you in my next.